her very, very dead. And if you want Kate dead so badly, why don't you just shoot her? No, her betrayal. Batwoman Season 2 premiere answers the question asked by its title. What happened to Kate Kane? Ignition, I must admit, Tommy, I made all your dreams come true. Yet that answer only offers more questions. The biggest question on the minds of Batwoman fans heading into the season 2 premiere was reflected in the title, What Happened to Kate Kane? An answer came in the episode's final scene, though that answer only raises more questions, setting the stage for the season to come. It's hard to say which news was more stunning as Batwoman season 1 came to a close, that Ruby Rose, who played the lead role of Kate Kane, had elected to leave the show, or that Batwoman's producers had decided to replace Kate Kane with a new Batwoman, rather than recast Rose's role. In either case, fans have anxiously awaited the Batwoman season 2 premiere to learn how Kate Kane would be taken out of action. Do I agree to live with a woman who just told me her plan to have her father kill her twin? Like it was some kind of April Fool's joke. Oh my. And what circumstances would lead to a homeless woman named Ryan Wilder taking up the mantle of the Crimson Knight? What happened to Kate Kane tackled both concerns head on, introducing viewers to Ryan as Kate's friends, family and enemies searched for some sign of her among the wreckage of a plane that suffered a technical failure over Gotham City. Here's a sentence I've never said before. Can you hack the Batmobile? By the end of the episode, Kate's body hadn't been recovered and there was still no clue as to what caused the plane crash. An answer came in one of the final scenes, as a despondent Alice, who was upset that her perfect revenge scheme had been foiled by the apparently accidental death of her twin sister, Kate Kane, made her way back to her hideout in the sewers of Gotham City. And I want you to know that lying to you is the hardest thing I've ever done. But I lied because I love you. A paper airplane made from a folded piece of newspaper came to rest in Alice's path. When she picked it up and unfolded it, she found that it had been made from the front page of the Gotham City Gazette issue detailing Kate's disappearance. The other side of the page had a message written in red ink or blood, consider US even, Sophia. This seems to confirm that the plane crash was the work of Sophia, a pirate queen who, in the world of Batwoman, has a connection to the pasts of both Alice and Julia Pennyworth. In the comics, Sophia Sohail was also a former lover of Kate Kane, whom she met, while Kate was traveling the world seeking teachers in the skills she would come to use as Batwoman. This is drastically different from the reality of the Arovers, where Kate Kane claimed to have never heard of Sophia Sohail when Julia first warned her that the criminal from Kuryana had hired an assassin known as the Rifle to kill Batwoman. I'm me. You're not Batman. That's the point. The big question now is if Sophia has taken a living Kate Kane hostage or is holding her body. It's also possible that Kate somehow managed to escape the crash site without her costume or that she never got on the plane in the first place once her luggage had been loaded. Regardless of what happened to Kate Kane, it's certain that Sophia and her ongoing war with Alice will be a major part of Batwoman Season 2.